the AXA of America's Got Talent Presents Superstars Live in Las Vegas are anything but ordinary. To witness a performance of America's Got Talent Presents Superstars Live is kind of mind-blowing. On the one hand, if you're already a fan of the hit NBC reality competition, which started its 18th season on May 30th, it's a chance to see the acts you voted for up close and in person. On the other hand, you're seeing everyday people, yes, just like you and me, that made something of themselves with very little help or backing. It's quite remarkable to consider that people who had ordinary jobs and lives just a few scant years ago are now, as the show's title indicates, superstars. Aiden Bryant One of the biggest stars in AGT's history, aerialist Aiden Bryant is a true American success story. The Prince George, Virginia, native began his journey to stardom at the age of 14 with nothing more than a tree and his grandmother's bed sheet. Utilizing how-to videos Bryant taught himself everything from contortion and hand balancing to archery in just two years. Bryant came close to winning the whole thing in season 16, coming in second place, but he returned for America's Got Talent, All Stars, and this time he could not be denied. In one of AGT's most indelible moments, Bryant's physical feats had Judge Simon Cowell so gobsmacked, he let loose an expletive and had to be bleeped. Now Bryant is enjoying the adulation of millions as one of the highlights of the Luxor production, and it's a privilege he fully appreciates. This opportunity only comes once in a lifetime, Bryant says in an interview with Las Vegas magazine. I'm going to put my best foot forward to wow the crowd every time I step on that stage. The sheer physicality of his act demands a high level of commitment, and Bryant admits that one of the biggest challenges he faces is trying to stay flexible for the next show but added his fans are a huge motivating factor. The fans are constantly saying that they're loving my legs and pointed feet in the air, he says. This makes my heart warm, because I work so hard to get them. Many past AGT acts now have full-time shows in Las Vegas, and Bryant is very aware of that, stating he has long-term plans for performing in Las Vegas, this is the capital of entertainment, and I am an entertainer. I want to live here full-time and share my talent with all. The Pack Drumline One of the more inspirational acts in the history of AGT is undeniably the Pack Drumline, a group formed in 2014 as part of an at-risk after-school program in Chicago. Its performance, which consists of dancing, drumming and even a bit of acrobatics, won over the judges, Chicago and all of America. Even though the group didn't win its season, it was a huge inspiration for millions and its message of pulling yourself out of a bad situation through grit, determination and, most of all, hope, resonates with all who hear the story. Perry Dante, one of its members, relates a recent fan-related story. We met a father and daughter who had traveled from Canada to specifically see us, Dante tells Las Vegas magazine. Both of them were drummers themselves, the daughter is in the marching band at her school and told all of her classmates about us. They let us know that seeing us in person was a completely different experience than they had imagined, and that we blew them away with our sheer energy. This is really what we do this for, moments like that. And Dante E says the Pack Drumline's story is just beginning in Vegas. Our main goal now is to leave a long-lasting impression on the Las Vegas Strip. We want to make ourselves known as a staple in the Las Vegas city, culture, and community. By striving to continuously evolve our performance and increase our network with other talented artists and management teams, we know we can turn our brand into a household name here in Vegas. Human Fountains Many of us dabbled in theater and other forms of entertainment in high school. But Sam Kaufman, Joel Lowinger and a group of his friends took it far beyond that level. They formed Human Fountains at the Denver Jewish Day School, and the power of social media took over from there. Their viral success led to an invite from AGT's producers, and despite Cowell's negative reaction to the act, they were an instant hit. To enjoy the Human Fountains Act which currently consists of Kaufman, Jesse Hiley, Robert Ryan, and Kirk Marsh, who rotate into the three-person act, is to enjoy an amalgam of the Three Stooges, the Marx Brothers and the comedies of the Farrelly Brothers. It's slapstick combined with gross-out humor, and it's proven to be an audience favorite. Clad in tuxedos and emerging to dramatic music, the fountains take turns shooting water out of their mouths and into the air.